feet like. And when we saw the fetus on the screen, he did not dive. He was no longer dangling on his cord. His mouth was no longer snapping like Pac-Man's. He had filled his womb. Only one baleful eye opened in the gloom, closed in the ebbing waters. This was a week past due. Nothing was favourable. The neck of the womb was hard and closed. The midwife couldn't reach to strip the waters. Try pineapple, try reflexology in Kilburn, or scanning my notes, I'm 35, it might be IVF. Try what got you that way, why don't you? I try reflexology in Kilburn, acupuncture in Fulham, swimming, acupressure, a whole pineapple from Ghana, more acupuncture, acupuncture with electric needles. I get a discount on the final session. It wasn't going to work, as I said. The date must be wrong, miscalculated. Soon it will be the year of the sheep. And what was I thinking, moving house? These things are no good in pregnancy. Wind, scissors in the bed, moving furniture in vacant spaces. All these superstitions. Funerals, sitting with a corpse, eating crab, touching the bride at a wedding. On the front page of the paper, C-section surge in China as zodiac sign moves. Only one sheep in ten has a chance at happiness. I lurch along the street on slippered size nine piano feet. The woman who has done everything she shouldn't do, everything unmotherly and queer, taboo, frantically Googling taboo, pregnancy, what not to do, plus dietary restrictions, plus death, plus New Year 2015 date. The ice is now abundant and should be brought into the ice houses. The sacrificial victim is prized for its kidneys. The magpie begins to build. Hens hatch. The sun has been through all his mansions. The last month of winter is time's fullness. Let me mummify.